Riding around and around, I don't want to fight. Oops. Hey guys, James here, and this is Tech Amino. In a world where all of the Bluetooth audio products, majority of the brands are going the true wireless earbuds route. However, the one more stylish Bluetooth earphone is one of the rare products with a neckband earphone style in the market right now. The big question now is, is it good or is it just like the other products with this name, stylish? Well, let's check it out and see if it's worth it. Before we start the review, this video is not sponsored by One More or any other distributors here in the Philippines. All of the things that I will say are mine only and they don't have any inputs or advanced copies of this video. Let's start the video with the unboxing. Here's the retail packaging of the One More stylish Bluetooth dual driver in-ear headphones. Whew! What a mouthful. I need a breather there. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, opening the side flap, we will see the product itself in a clear hard plastic with some sketches of the earphones and what's the process of making it. Removing the plastic and the sticker is the earphones itself in color black. Set that aside for a moment and check the other things beneath the divider. Opening the small compartment is where you can see a free translucent smoke black carrying bag, sticker and paperwork, the spare ear tips that also come in large and small, and finally a micro USB cable. Looking at the earphone now, we can see its build and the color that I have is in black, but it's also available in some poppy colors like gold, green, and pink. Looking at the neckband, it is made with silicone material on the middle and on each end of the device is plastic. On the left part houses all of the controls of the earphone, the microphone hole, and the micro USB port in the flap while on the other right side is left clear. The Bluetooth earphone has Bluetooth 4.2 and the available codec is only at SPC and there's no AppX option. Pairing the one more earphones is easy. Press and hold the power button. There's an audio and LED light indicating it's already on and it's ready for pairing. Find the One More Stylish PT on the list and it's paired. You can now use the One More Bluetooth earphones to listen for some music. Now, we have already unboxed, hands-on, and paired this One More wireless earphones. Let's start with a review with its design. The One More Stylish Bluetooth earphones in terms of color options are made for the hip and millennial users who don't want to go fully wireless but still trendy. On the earphone's neck band, the silicone part is soft and is hard to tangle while the end part mimics a glossy metallic design, which in my honest opinion is not a great choice especially in black. I, I just wish they would just make it in a matte design option. The earphones are comfortable and not neck straining because it's lightweight and can be used for longer periods of time. The controls are quite small in my taste but are distinguishable like the power button is a circle while the volume control is a long pill shape. But I had the nitpick on the earphones that there's no magnets on each earbud like this. Meaning it will just sway away from left to right and it may fall if you're running for, for just example. Hope they have a magnetic area just like what OnePlus did with their Bullets earphones. Also, another nitpick on mine for the design is their on silicone tips. I understand that it's good that the tips won't fall off to the ears very easily as time goes by. However, there's no option to buy a third-party silicone tips in this design if you are a type of hygienic person. In terms of button assignments, I will put on the screen the commands for the power button and the volume controls. But what I can say is that the controls are complete in today's standards for Bluetooth audio products. But what's not in standard now, even at the time it was released in 2019, the one more stylish Bluetooth earphones uses a micro USB port on the neckband which is a big bummer even if the competition at the time is OnePlus Bullets Wireless 2 which uses a USB Type-C port when launched. 
Charging this wireless earphone is quite fast at more or less than one hour using the preferred charger output at 5 watts. However, with that fast charging, that comes a somewhat mediocre to good battery life. One more claims it will last for 6 hours on a single charge, but in my testing is a hit or miss clocking in at around 5 to 5 and a half hours. And before we move on, if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and smash that bell button to get you notified when a brand new video will come out. Don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok at TechMNO. And finally, we still have an ongoing awesome giveaway right now. Links will be in the description down below. If I had some not so good things I said on this neckband earphones with its design, battery, and charging choices from one more, there's one thing they kinda perfected and that is the sound quality. One more is well known to be one of the best Chinese audiophile or chai fi brands as coined by LF Reviews in the market right now. Aside from being a fact that one more is a Xiaomi sub company. Before I start giving my analysis on the sound quality of these wireless earphones, um, I would like to inform you guys that I am not an audiophile and there might be some aspects that I won't discuss in this review. In my testing, I use my daily driver phone, the Redmi Note 9 Pro, my Poco M3, and my iPad Mini 5 for iOS audio analysis. And for good measure, I use Apple Music on both platforms. I will mention some of the songs from my 15-track playlist that I tested with a mix of genres old and new. I will drop all of the information in the video description below. Alright, let's start the analysis with Adele's new song, Oh My God. This pop r and mix has a good blend of bass and her mesmerizing vocals with a great flow of the sound. I really enjoyed the bass on the One More Wireless earphone that is not overpowering and, and it might destroy the other parts of the song. This is also noticeable to Volk Boy's Everything Sucks with the combination of the background instruments and some whispers and some parts that you can pick up with this earphone. Moving on to Charlie Puth's latest match single, Light Switch, which has complex but enjoyable details on both high-end and mid-end that the One More earphones perform very well. On Ilona Garcia's song, Entertain Me, you will groove to the perfect blend of the millennial vibe with some old-school flair, which One More earphones can do it with this balanced sound that is very enjoyable but not quite groundbreaking in my opinion. Also on laid back tracks or acoustic tracks like Bini Bini by Zach the Buldo and Bruno Mars's Too Good to Say Goodbye, the songs are good and you feel the vulnerabilities of the artist portrayed in the track. However, I should advise you that for some genres like EDM or heavy metal with a lot of things going on because I experience on some distortions if you crank the volume very high. Like for some songs I test like Zed's Find You and Disturbs Down With The Sickness. However, on some EDM tracks that's not too complex like Shawn Mendes' La Lost In Japan Zed Remix, it's a little manageable. On some casual things like listening to podcasts or watching Netflix or YouTube, I notice some syncing issues while using it. The audio is ahead while the video is delayed by a microsecond. Um, it's not a big deal for some but you may notice it if you look or listen very closely to it. Here's the microphone test for the one more stylish Bluetooth wireless earphones. I'm in a semi-quiet area right now and here is the microphone output. So what are your thoughts about the mic quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, now I laid all of the things I experienced on the One More Stylish Bluetooth earphones. I will answer the question I said on the intro a while ago. Is it worth it or is it just stylish? Well, I should mention the current price of this earphone. At the time of this recording, it is priced at around 1,240 to 1,690 pesos or around um, 28 to 33 dollars. For its price, it's quite hard to swallow if we check the specs of the product. Yes, it has it is comfortable and it's lightweight plus the button controls are complete. In terms of sound signature, it's high quality and comparable to its wide version. That is good for users who will like pop, R&B, or alternative genres. However, when we look back again at this competition with its launch uh, this product in 2019, the OnePlus Bullet 2 has better battery life and has a USB-C port. The One More Earphones is so behind this. And when we look to the present time, uh, I will forgive this product if its price has been cut at least $20 to $22. But with its price, um, I can't. Really. So, 
Bottom line, if you don't want the true wireless option and want a neckband design, but the budget is tight and wants a USB-C port, um, you should look somewhere else. However, if you don't mind the micro USB port and you want a great audio quality, then the one more stylish Bluetooth earphone is the perfect audio device for you. Would you want a true wireless earbud design or you want to stick with a Bluetooth product with a neckband design like this? Let me know your answers in the comment section below. And for more audio product reviews like this, check the card right here or check my new video right here. Again, my name is James and I will catch you guys on the next one.